good evening. We are in the center of Tokyo in one of the few rest stops. And I've stopped to get something from one of the vending machines here. Let's go take a look. Hop on! The place is absolutely dead. But they've got some hot menu. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Some yaki onigiri fries, hot dogs, karage. This is uh, like fried chicken. Takoyaki, which is uh, octopus balls. Ice cream. They'll hook you up. This is looking sad. That's looking real sad. Some donuts, waffle, loads of snacks. Here's a map showing the congestion, which there is no congestion because we're in the middle of a pandemic here, folks. I was getting some water. What's the problem, Tommy? You ain't looking too happy. There she is, ready to roll. got some night settings. I love these little rest stops. And this is right in the middle of Tokyo. Kind of a tricky exit right there. There's a bend coming out of that rest stop, so it's kind of hard to tell how close the car is that's coming up. We are on the expressway in the beautiful city of Tokyo. It's hard to beat at night. You're gonna see some spectacular lights, Tokyo Tower, and right now is an unprecedented time because these expressways, these roads in Tokyo are empty. It's heaven, it's absolute heaven. And I wanna take full advantage of these quiet expressways because they will not be like this ever again, thankfully. As soon as the state of emergency is lifted, Everybody's gonna be back on the roads creating traffic jams. Nobody likes that, especially a biker. It's like expressway heaven right now. We're gonna do a big fat loop through the city and back. And it'll probably take us about 20 minutes. Right down over here to the left is Jimbocho area. Well, let's go this way. We're gonna go this way. There's a couple of routes we can take, but we're gonna take this one. Right off to our left, right now is the Imperial Palace. People all get back into the routines. So it's mid-April when the state of emergency was started here in Japan. All right, dead ahead is Shibuya. We won't be going there tonight, but rather we'll be heading by Shiba Koen. This is Rapongi One Chome right here. There's the Ferrari showroom. One of my other videos recently. We'll be seeing the Tokyo Tower pretty soon coming up on our left. 
There she is in all her glory. Ah, oh, I love the Tokyo Tower. Those colors are just awesome, especially at night. Unfortunately, coming from this direction, it's not as unobstructed. We just passed Azabu Juban. That's a nice reflection in the building there. We'll be heading by Ginza next. Rainbow Bridge is off to the right there. And now Ginza is straight ahead as well as Shiodome. On the Shuto, Shuto Expressway. A lot of people are cooped up in these small apartments here in Japan and the threat of divorce is growing. They're calling it Corona Rikon. Rikon is divorce. Corona is, you already know what that is. And it's a phenomenon that a lot of couples are going through right now. So some savvy entrepreneurial types are embracing this and found a business opportunity to rent out these vacant apartments for a buffer zone for couples that are having trouble. One of them can split and go stay temporarily in one of these apartments for like 4,000 yen a day, 40 bucks a day, in the hopes of saving their marriage. Not a bad idea. We just passed by Ginza. They also have what's called the Narita Rikon. And that's a phenomenon that's been going on for many years in Japan. And it's hilarious. So Narita, Narita Airport. So what happens is these couples will get married and they go on their honeymoon and they realize I can't stand this person and when they get back to Narita on their way back their marriage is basically over already a friend of mine actually experienced this he didn't get married but he met this girl and this is here in Japan and um, they didn't know each other very long but he invited her to Bali they got there and she realized she didn't like him no surprise there and by the time they got back to Narita Airport and a friend of mine was actually on the return flight coincidentally and he witnessed weren't talking at all on the flight back from Bali to Tokyo there's the Imperial Palace right down there in the thicket of those trees you know what we're gonna do this one more time we're just gonna stay on this expressway and do another loop so she ghosted him when they got back he never heard from her again <laughs> and we're gonna take a different route this time we're gonna go by Shinjuku Little Mitsubishi, come on, yeah, you just a little guy. I think I got more CCs than you do. I know I got more CCs than you do. That's Akasaka right there. We do not want to be behind this guy for much longer. I don't know if I can take it. Shalom, sucker. So we're in the direction of Shinjuku now. 
and there's hardly anybody here. So that building up there, the blue one, all lit up like a Christmas tree. That's the NTT Docomo building, right in the heart of Shinjuku. And we just passed the National, uh, Tokyo Olympic Stadium, but which you couldn't see it because it's dark out. Now, if we took that right there, that would take us to Shibuya, right past NHK, where I often work. And here's the Shinjuku exit up here. But we're not going to take it. We're going to stay on. I'm gonna blowing the cobwebs out of this thing. Feels good. Yeah, unfortunately, we are not going to be able to connect to the tunnel. That's a shame. I wish they had a seamless connection into the tunnel going this direction, but they don't. So we have to exit. It's all right. It's been a fun ride. And we'll do a U-turn up here and get back on the expressway. All right, right back on the expressway we go. Pardon me, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Peter Von Gom. This is the Peter Von Gom Japan channel. Thank you for subscribing. And I think we're going to take the tunnel on our way back. This is the Yamate Tunnel, longest tunnel in Tokyo by far. It's about 18 kilometers long. And it runs all the way to Gotanda. And actually, you can take it pretty close to Haneda Airport. So it's a really long tunnel. But it's always congested. So I have to use the PVG lane, which is the shoulder. We won't have to do that tonight. I can promise you that. So thank you for joining this night ride of Tokyo. I had a blast. Be sure and check out the Peter Von Gom Japan live channel. We're live streaming all over Tokyo. And if you like this kind of content, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. The details are in the description. I hope you're having fun with these videos as much as I am. Ride carefully and I will do the same. Jane.